this embryo model is a germinal stage embryo third week of development approximately here you will see the conversion of the bilaminar embryo into a trilaminar embryo therefore this is a model of uh, describing the process of gastrulation now that's the embryo there now we will go into the details see the embryo is already implanted in the maternal endometrium that's the uterine endometrium blood vessels so therefore the nourishment to the embryo is guaranteed next the embryo starts burrowing into the maternal endometrium by the trophoblastic proliferation next this is a diagrammatic or rather a, a section of the embryo the interior of the developing embryo at roughly around this stage now this the main item here is the embryonic disc we will come to how this level of embryonic disc proliferation has taken place however for the moment this is the embryonic disc then that is the amniotic cavity amniotic sac and lower down that is the yolk sac next here we have taken the uh, embryonic disc out and converted into a diagrammatic representation at this stage of the development the prochordal plate at the cranial end of the embryo is very very clearly seen also the cranial end is broader than the caudal end here now this is the embryonic disc that's the prochordal plate at the cranial end of the embryo and now close to the caudal end a small disc like a, a change has taken place we'll come to that a little later but more important that from that spot onwards roughly yeah you can start thinking of a midline axis so that there is a right and left a possible symmetry of the embryo we have already seen that the cranial end is wider then the post some kind of a antero posterior orientation right and left orientation to this disc is beginning to develop now that is the primitive streak ending anteriorly in the ring that is the primitive knot the axial line is still visible from there from the primitive knot the notochordal process will develop and it will head towards the prochordal plate that means in a series of quick successions the cloacal membrane the primitive streak the primitive knot the notochordal process all these start developing along the midline axis now that's the caudal end of the embryo primitive streak basically it's a derivation from the ectoderm the primitive knot that is the anterior end of the primitive streak in due course the primitive streak will disappear then from here one side the notochordal process is developing as a as an ectodermal derivative that will be the future a neural tube however in the meanwhile the primitive streak will start uh, uh, sending out mesodermal cells laterally now what you see there as green lines is nothing but intra embryonic mesoderm now that's the cloacal membrane that's the primitive streak and that's the notochordal process and here very very particularly on either sides of the notochordal process and the primitive stage the intra embryonic mesoderm is beginning to develop now this is a basically the design of uh, the process of gastrulation so once the intra embryonic mesoderm develops we have an ectoderm that's where you saw from the amniotic cavity we have an endoderm from the yolk sac we have uh, visited it and now the e marked in green is the mesoderm now this is finally the embryo that that looks uh, on the model i have only given you a diagrammatic representation same items can be seen here also uh, go through it repeatedly you will get a better understanding you can see the cloacal uh, membrane you can see the primitive streak primitive knot the notochordal process and the and anteriorly the prochordal plate that's embryonic disc and all the details on that now this 
is a small work uh, beautifully done by uh, Sailesh and Jigneshwari, first MBBS. Uh, students, thank you for your patient listening.